I have a problem. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body cameras by your neck. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I'm a part-time reseller on reselling platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Kitizen, ThreadUp, my own Shopify store, and I have a haul video today. And I'm kind of like grimacing because I shouldn't have a haul video for you because I've been doing a lot of shopping and not a lot of listing, which honestly is kind of unlike me. I feel like I've been really disciplined about listing and I don't know why like all of that has just gone out the window. And so I've been shopping a lot and just kind of like stocking up, even though I I have so much already. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I gotta like, I gotta stop. I gotta say like, until I get X number listed, I'm not gonna go thrifting again. It's just like such great opportunities keep coming up like this. So there was a local consignment store and they put on their Facebook that they were doing, it was like 75% off of a certain color and then like 50%, I, I don't remember. It was like $3 for a certain color tag, something like that. So it was just a really good sale. And I, I went and I went hard. So you're gonna see what I got. I also have some stuff from like smaller shopping trips that I did that I'll share too. So this is probably gonna be a little bit longer of a video. I suggest that you get a drink or something because we're gonna be here for a while with each other. So in case you don't know what reselling is or like what I'm doing with all of this clothes, basically I get clothes for as cheap as I can at places like consignment stores, buy, sell, trade stores like Plato's Closet and thrift stores. And I sell them online to make money. And it's a really great side hustle. I have a ton of videos about how to do it, including an entire playlist of thrift hauls. So if you really want more thrift hauls after you finish this video, I have a playlist down below in the description, as well as videos on how to sell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, all that kind of stuff. So you can knock yourself out when you're done with this. And if that sounds interesting to you and you want to learn more about reselling, especially from the perspective of someone who is doing this part-time and does have a full-time job as a high school choir teacher, then definitely hit that subscribe button so that you can learn more about my journey because... I think it's fun. I don't know. It's cool. So if you are excited to see what I got, hit that like button and let's get right into it. So um, let's start off with kind of stuff that I got at the store um, before the big sale. And they're in these two smaller bags. And when I went this time, I only picked up eight pieces because the sale wasn't super good. And so I tried to be super picky because I was paying a little bit more per item. Um, if you didn't know, I'm trying to go by like average cost of goods. And so I believe my average cost of goods for this particular trip with eight items came out to about 11 something, which is really high, but I got some good pieces. So I'll share with you what I got there first. So the first item is this Robert Graham piece. Robert Graham is known for his button up shirts and they're just very gaudy. Like they're just very out there. And I got this one because it was a size 2XL. It's a tailored fit. That's what the logo looks like. Um, so what he's known for is like, it's kind of a normal shirt, right? But he's known for his like contrast cuff. So when you, you know, flip the cuff over, this one isn't that crazy, which honestly I kind of like, but you know, it's, different than what the rest of the shirt is. So I like it because it's got just like these two orange stripes, but it's also got this kind of plaid against the stripes. It's very, yeah, Robert Graham is interesting. His shirts though can go for a lot. So this isn't super crazy. There's like the plaid again. This isn't super crazy compared to a lot of his other shirts, but his shirts can and have gone for like, you know, 50 plus. So if I could even just get 50 for this, I'd be super excited. And like I said, the fact that it is a 2XL, I'm super happy about that. The next thing I got at this store, I, I just thought this was really pretty. So it's Talbots and I don't know if I need to be spending, you know, $11 on Talbots, but it's a size large. And I just thought it was a beautiful dress. So I'm always looking for stuff in larger sizes because I feel like it's really easy to find stuff in like size extra small and small, but the average person isn't a size extra small and small. The average person wears a size 10. So it makes sense to 
you know, find clothes that are in the average size for Americans. But also I feel like a lot of people who wear larger sizes have said that they just feel like a lot of people don't sit, um, they don't carry smaller sizes in their closet. So I thought this was beautiful. I think it's beautiful for like the office, but also for special events like Valentine's Day, which just passed. Um, but also, you know, like you could wear it to a wedding and I just thought it was really pretty. So we'll see how that does. I picked up, I was really excited about this. This is the place where I picked up my last pair of Spanx too, but this is the brand Spanx. Uh, Spanx just has such a cult following because they're so good at just sucking everything in and making you look and feel good. It's got an elastic waistband, it's high rise. It is just a little bit distressed and it's got um, like that released hem with like, yeah, all that goodness. So I sold my last pair of Spanx actually over on Mercari, I believe for like $64 or something. So I'm hoping for that $60 range on these. Um, and yeah, those are size medium. I got another pair of jeans. Um, this is the Madewell. Cali Demi boot in a size 30. I actually just sold the same pair of pants um, not too long ago. I'd gotten them from Plato's Closet, however, that pair. And those sold for like 35. Um, however, I did kind of take a lower offer. These are a bigger size than the last ones that I sold, which, you know, is great. And these are high-waisted. So I'm probably gonna list them for about $50 and see what happens. But um, even if I did get 35, that's not awful, but I think I could get a little bit more. So there's that. Um, I actually did like one of those Instagram polls on this pair of pants and it was like split kind of down the middle. Um, it's a pair of Athleta jeans, which I heard that they actually, you know, have been making jeans, which is kind of cool. And they have this like technology called Sculpt Tech. I don't know, but I feel like people actually really like their jeans. These I believe are high rise. I have to actually measure the rise, but I, they look like they're high rise. They have an ankle zip. Um, they're kind of like this faded black color. I'm gonna try them out, so we'll see. Not the best price point to be trying out new things, but uh, just gonna see what happens. Hopefully I can get north of 35 on those. I was really excited about this because this is another brand that does super well. The brand is Smart Wool, and I think I've only sold it once or twice before, and I believe, I know for sure one time I found it at the same consignment store. Um, they only had it listed for $19.99, but I think I should be able to get at least $35, if not more, for it. But also, Smart Wool sells really quickly. It's just great at like keeping people warm. Um, it's just got you know a really great following, and I thought the print was pretty fun, and the fact that it's an extra large, that definitely works in its favor as well. So super excited about that. I just... You know, a lot of this stuff is definitely not like spring or summer um, appropriate. So that part kind of stinks, but it's okay. All right, this I'm so excited for. This is beautiful. So this is Eileen Fisher. Again, it's a size extra large. They wanted a lot for this, but it was on sale. And I'm excited because of the fabric content. So let me tell you that first and then I'll show it to you. But this is made of 50% yak and 50% merino wool. Yak is so insanely expensive. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much I can hope to get for this, but it is a turtleneck sweater. It's really lightweight actually. And it's color blocked, so it's got this like brownish kind of taupe. Brown, by the way, is like super in right now, which is weird. It's asymmetrical. And then like, there's like that corner panel of black. You can see it there. So I don't know. I mean, I would love to think that something like this could go for $100. Um, we'll see. It's that yak, <laughs> that's why. That's why I picked it up because of the yak, but it's in really great shape. There's like a tiny bit of like pre-pilling. That's a thread up term, but um, I think it'll do okay. I'm very excited about that. I have very high hopes for it. We shall see. Um, another sweater, they had this one priced so low, they had it at $12.99. This is Point Sewer. Point Sewer is actually um, part of the J. Crew family. 
it's a really great brand. It's a mock neck pink sweater. I believe this is wool. I'll check really quickly. Um, just super classic. It's not great for the season, but um, I do love the brand so, so much. I have a few pieces by them. This is um, nylon, but also 30% merino wool and 10% alpaca. So, you know, just some great content. The only problem is there is no size. I feel like the size part was ripped out. So I just have to, you know, do some measurements and make sure that I let people know that the size tag has been ripped out, but that um, according to the size guide and all that kind of stuff, it it's the size that I think it is. Um, and this is from holiday 2018. So it's pretty recent and they always give you the style number on um point source stuff as well as j crew made well you know everything in that family and the great thing is you can type that style name in and find out the name of this actual piece you can find stock photos if you're into that and just more information about this and also it helps you you know find comps a little bit easier because you're able to see how other people have priced it so um, those were the eight pieces that I got from this store initially. And like I said, the price that I paid per item, I'll put the exact amount here, but it was like 11 something. So when I went back, let me look actually, I have it on my computer. When I went back for this big old sale, my average cost of goods was definitely less. It was $5.06, which is better than, you know, $11 something. So um, these are all things that I got for that sale. I'm going to start with this bag of just like a lot of basic jeans and a lot of them are kind of the same. So I'll try to go through them really fast. I'm trying like older vintage jeans just to see how they do. I've heard that they can do okay. And um, I'm just trying like bigger sizes as well. So we'll see what happens. So I got a ton of these. This one pair though is pretty special. So this is um, LL Bean. It's the relaxed fit. It's in a size 35 by 30, but they're fleece lined. So I don't know what that's worth. I've heard that that can be really good. And the cool thing is like you can, you know, cuff them and see the fleece underneath. So that was really exciting. I didn't even know that they were fleece lined until I got them home and I was like processing them. Um, but this is what they look like. They're, I'm like 99% sure that they're vintage, but yeah, I got a ton of LL Bean jeans. Someone obviously just kind of unloaded their whole jean uh, pile. And this particular consignment store does men's and women's. So this is another pair of LL Bean Relax Fit jeans in a size 35 by 30. These don't have the fleece lining. I believe that the pair I just showed you is the only pair that does, but again, just you know, and I feel like these could be really great if someone wanted to DIY them into some denim shorts. But yeah, I don't know how much something like this goes for. I will try to do some research and let you know here. This is a pair of Levi 550s in a size 34 by 30. Um, I don't know, Levi's for me in general, just like it doesn't even matter what the uh, style is or anything like that. They just typically do pretty well. And I'm hoping I can get at least 25 for these. I feel like the more relaxed fit or like the looser fits have been selling well for me. So I'm just gonna keep riding that train and see what happens. This is, I believe another pair of the LL Bean jeans. Oh my gosh, I got another pair. Okay, there's another fleece line pair. So this is in a size 35 by 30 as well. I'm trying to, I wanna see if the print is the same. Yeah, it's basically two of the exact same pair of jeans and they are in the same size. So that's a multi-quantity listing. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, so yeah, it's the same thing. It's relaxed fit. Obviously I have to like look through them really carefully to see if there are any huge flaws or anything, but look at that. And I'll let you know if the fleece lined ones are worth a lot more, I'll put something here. But I've been told to be excited about those. Chelsea actually from Monarch Alley, she posted something about it on her Instagram. If you're not following her over there, definitely make sure you check her out and you can check out her YouTube channel too. I'll put all of her information here and in the description below. Um, again, with the LL Bean Relaxed Fit, size 35 by 30, these are in a darker wash. I'm not gonna open them up because I think you know what they look like at this point. 
this might be the same thing. I'm telling you, this is the jean bag and it was super heavy. This is the same exact thing. A lot of multi-quantity listings here, which I'm super excited about. Um, this is the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Basically, this is the LL Bean bag and hopefully each one of these is worth a gazillion dollars. Okay. So into something new, American Eagle, you guys know if it's American Eagle and it's in decent condition and I can get it for pretty cheap, I will pick it up. This is a size 31 by 30 and it's the slim straight jeans, just super basic. I'll probably list them for 30 on eBay with free shipping and 25 on Poshmark. This is a pair of Levi 511 jeans in a size 31 by 32. They are in a really dark wash. Um, same thing, probably list these for like 30 to 35 on eBay with free ship and maybe around like, I don't know, maybe 30 to 35 on Poshmark as well. Nice dark wash. Let me know in the chat down below, what do you feel like is selling better for you, especially if you have both? Um, like the slimmer skinny fits for guys, or do you see the trend too, where like things are getting a little bit wider? I don't know. I'm just kind of going off of what I've been selling. I also don't think I have that many slim fit, you know, pants in my closet now that I think about it, but I don't know. The loose fit stuff has been selling. Okay. So into some women's stuff, this is intimately free people in a size medium, and it is this black, it's, yeah, it's like waffle knit. And it has these buttons up the front, but it's a long sleeve bodysuit. I thought that was actually pretty cool. Like you kind of usually just see the ones that are um, like really lacy and, you know, all that kind of stuff or like kind of leotardy. But I like the fact that this almost had the look of like a thermal, but then it's a bodysuit. So probably not worth that much. I'll probably list it around 25 and see what happens. Um... Oh, look at that. We're already at the bottom of our first bag and there's three, but the reason for that is because this was the denim bag. This is the brand Chaser. I don't find Chaser very often. Um, and this is in a size medium, but it's this black, sorry, there's like a little fuzz. It's a black turtleneck. It's long sleeve and it's pretty long. I feel like Chaser pieces are always very long in length, like kind of more tunicky. So there's that. I don't think this is worth very much. Probably 20, 25. Um, you'll notice though that a lot of this stuff here is pretty wintry. And I think the reason for that is because they're trying to clear out their winter stuff. So here's another prime example of that. This was a button up, kind of like cardigan sweater. The brand is left on Houston. I've never heard of this before, but I looked up comps. They seem to be okay. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll look again and let you know right here. They wanted $17.99 for this. It's a size small, but I picked it up because I believe it's wool. Let's see. Yeah, it's like some nylon, some viscose, but there's some lamb's wool and there's some cashmere in there. So it's this blue. It's really hard to see in this light, but it's this blue like button up um sweater it's got these big pockets on the front it's got kind of wider sleeves too um it's very heavy but yeah i don't know it's got like a pleat in the back i feel like hopefully i can list it for 50 and hope to get around like 35 to 40 for that i've never heard of it but i thought i'd try it out it seemed very intriguing to me this is the brand Dolan Left Coast Collection. This brand is oftentimes sold at Anthropology, and this is a size medium. So it's just kind of like this. Um, it's got again like the big turtleneck, but it's sleeveless. It's got like a space die print to it. Again, a little bit longer in length. It's like um definitely tunic length. Yeah, I don't think it's worth a huge amount. Probably again listed for like 25. Um, at least it's not super like chunky like this one. <laughs> I think this is the same brand. Let me double check. Yeah, so this is Dolan as well. Also size medium. They're probably from the same person. This is really cool though. So it's like this super long open front cardigan and it's got this pattern on the front or like this panel here. And then the sleeves are just kind of this black, but 
it's super long probably hits about like mid calf for most people it's got these big pockets on the front i'm not doing a very good job with it but i just thought that was so cool i love a good long cardigan i just love cardigans in general because i love layering um so i thought that was really cool there's that hopefully i could get more for this probably looking at hopefully like 30 to 40 dollars on that one this is the brand charisma and i've never heard of this before i looked it up and it was okay if i remember correctly but i just really like the style so it's got like the huge wing it's like a bat wing right i said a huge wing it's got a huge sleeve it's a bat wing sleeve where it's like really wide right here and then it like narrows down so it doesn't like move that much up and down your arm i love this kind of style so much it does not have a size so i have to you know do some measurements which is kind of hard and annoying given the sleeve but um i also really just kind of want to try this on and possibly just keep it for myself but i love that so we'll put that in the becky pile um this might go in the becky pile too it just looks so comfortable i do not know this brand it's called blank page it's a size small it's just a really comfy tie-dye pullover so that's also going in the becky pile this is vince it's a size large and i believe they wanted a pretty penny oh they only wanted 40 dollars for this but um it was on sale i did not pay 40 dollars for this i believe it was made out of some good stuff so let's try to find the fabric content tag here um, yeah, 80% wool, 20% cashmere. So, and brown is like super in right now, but it is this super oversized, like short sleeve sweater. Just really, really oversized. It's ribbed. It's got this zipper on one of the shoulders. And again, it's kind of got more of this like open neck, like almost a boat neck. I just thought that was really nice. Um, I don't know. I have a hard time with Vince, but seeing as how this isn't just like a t-shirt or something, I'm hoping that this does really well. I also like, ugh, I don't know. I keep going back and forth with like thread up or should I try the real real? I know a lot of people are kind of migrating over there. Let me know what you would do with, you know, like Eileen Fisher or Vince. Like, let me know what you're doing with those pieces. I just feel like I never actually move them for a lot, but um, I feel like, you know, there's someone out there that's willing to pay a lot. I just have to find that person. This is just Soma. Um, the size is a size medium. Soma is just comfort wear, like lounge wear. People really like it though. Like people get really excited about their Soma. So this is just a long sleeve, like lounge dress. It's super soft. Um, it's got like a cutout up there. It's got a cutout on the back too. I mean, I won't get much for it. If I could get 25 for this, I would be amazed and very, very happy. So that's what we'll shoot for. We got some more jeans, don't you worry. Uh, this is another pair of Levi's. It's the 559 in a size 31 by 34. I thought, okay, I thought for a second it was a button fly, but it's not. This is what they look like. I will list them and see what happens. Probably list them, like I said, for like 25 to $30. Um, and they will sell eventually. Next up, I have this top by Ella Moss. I don't really pick up Ella Moss a lot anymore. I don't even see Ella Moss. Like, is it still a brand? Like, does she still make clothes? I don't know. But um, I thought this was cute, and it was so cheap, which is why I got it. It's just, you know, all these vertical stripes. It's very, like, oversized. Like, look how big <laughs> this sleeve is. There is some, like, thread stuff that I can just snip, but... I love that. Like, look how wide that sleeve is. So it's just very boxy. I'm super into that look because it is hard to tell what your shape is underneath that. So I'm all about that. This was a size medium. And I feel like this was made out of like decent materials too. Like for some reason, I want to say linen. No. Okay. Well, it's like 70% acrylic and 30% mercerized wool. Mercerized wool. Well, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know what any of that means. But yeah, um, Ella Moss, I have not tried selling it in a very long time. If I could get 25 for this, that'd be pretty cool. I'd be okay with 25. 
Next up, we have another Eileen Fisher piece. This is a size large. I believe this is older Eileen Fisher. And it, I don't know, like the black does seem to be a little faded, but I think that's mainly due to the, due to the fact that this is 100% linen and it's very like log and look to me. It's that layered look, just very drapey, oversized. Um, I think this can do okay. It's got these snap buttons um, on the front and I, I have decently high hopes for this one. People do love their linen and it is a larger size like i said so yeah hopefully that does okay that was a size large yep so we'll see how that does the struggle is just do i try to sell it myself or do i send it somewhere right this is athleta it's a size medium i thought it was kind of pretty it's like this is it a quarter zip pullover? More like a half zip pullover. It's got this really bold print on the neckline and on the shoulders and on the sleeve. Um, it's an interesting material. I It's pretty heavy duty. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to make of it. And it's definitely been like worn so much so that, you know, there's nothing on the tag. Because typically with Athleta, you can look at the tag and it'll tell you the style name and all that stuff. So that, you know, same thing as like what I was sharing about the point sewer piece, like you can see what it's called. I'll just use Google Lens on this. It's such a like bold piece. I don't think that it'll get mistaken for anything else. Um, yeah, if I could get 25 for that, that'd be really nice. This is an anthropology brand. The brand is knitted and knotted. It's really hard to see. It's on that little like silver medallion. It is this cream tunic. It's got like this really pretty crochet lace detail, um, long sleeve and yeah, pretty basic. I don't think I can get like a ton for this, but I just like to have some anthro <laughs> in my closet because I do feel like people are still looking for it. Um, I won't get much for it. Maybe 18, 20 on that one. This is, I thought this was a cool piece. I don't think it'll get me a ton, but it's Urban Outfitters. It's a size medium and I just like the look of it. So it's like this cropped quarters zip pullover with this big stripe detail going all the way through the sleeve and then like through the chest and back down the other sleeve. I just thought it was fun. So even if I could get like 25, I don't know if I could get 25 for this. Urban, you know, it just doesn't usually resell for a ton, but I just thought it was fun. I couldn't leave it behind. I, okay, let me know what you think about this brand. Some people say that they have so much luck with this brand. The brand is Vici and comps are kind of all over the place, but I thought this was a really cool piece too. This is in a size medium. So again, with like that bat wing <laughs> that I'm obsessed with, and then this part of the sleeve is a little bit longer than on that Charisma piece I showed you, but it's got like this really stretchy ribbed fabric. It feels really nice. And it's got this interesting hem, kind of like a, yeah, very asymmetrical. It's just very interesting. I really like this deep green color too. The neckline is interesting. I don't know. Everything about it is like a little off, which I like. So, oh my gosh, what did, oh, I thought they had a price at like 40 something. I think they had a price at like $19.99. So I don't know how to price this yet because I have to do more research. Um, I will let you know here ultimately what I find out. But, you know, after seeing a lot of people talk about that brand, I was excited, you know, just wanted to see what the hype was. This is um, the brand Comfy USA. It's a more mature line and um, it is made in the USA. This is a size small it's just a tunic. It's very lightweight. It is navy and it's got this panel at the bottom that is more of like a satiny material, if you will. Mm, not satiny, but yeah, a little bit more like sheer. Yeah, Comfy USA, it can do okay. <laughs> Maybe 18 to 20 on the, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta look up Tom's. Okay, we're already on our last bag, so maybe this won't be like the longest haul ever, which is great. Also, my laptop, which charges my ring light, is not going to last very long, so I'm going to try to truck through. This is another free people piece. It's a size extra small. 
Um, I like have seen it there a few times and just continued to like pass over it because it's yeah. But for the price I paid for it, I was like, okay, sure, let's let's do this. So, you know, it's like this orangish turtleneck. It's very oversized, which I like. Um, yeah, and it's actually super lightweight, which is cool. So the color is what's throwing me a little bit, but you can't really go wrong with a nice, you know, chunky oversized sweater. So there's that. What are you? This is Free People as well. This is um, Free People Movement. And this is a size extra small as well. Free People Movement is like Free People's athletic line. It's basically just a pullover hoodie. And it's very soft. It's kind of like... Yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but it's cropped with like kind of that thick band at the bottom. It's got a hood with like the thick drawstring and it's got a little bit of that bat wing action or like a dolman sleeve. So it's pretty interesting. Just, you know, you can throw it on over your tank top and go to the gym. So there's that one. I did get some Life is Good t-shirts. These usually sell for me so fast. Oftentimes they just sell like within the haul. Like people will DM me or email me and be like, uh, can I have that Life is Good shirt? This is a size medium. It's just a long sleeve pink t-shirt that says simplify. So, I mean, this is not the kind of stuff that I wear, right? But I am down to basically sell whatever people will buy it doesn't have to be my personal style and I know a lot of people are super into the curated closet and that's awesome like all the power to them if I um had that kind of closet I just wouldn't have very much in it and so for me I just kind of go by what I know people will give me money for and I'm happy with that this is only priced at $9.99 so I think I ended up paying like I don't know less than two bucks for that this is a pair of theory dress pants in a size 10. Um, again, I got these because I think they ended up being, a, I don't know, like under $8, which is great. Um, yeah, they're definitely pretty dressy. They're like pleated in the front. They're, they feel very luxurious. And I know I've been sharing in my What Sold videos, which if you have not checked out any of those, um, I'll link a playlist down below. But my career pieces have been selling really well for me. And I think that's because the world is slowly getting back to normal. People are going back to work and, you know, they need this kind of stuff. So I was happy to pick that up because Theory makes some great career pieces. This is the brand J. McLaughlin, which I love selling. This, however, is not what they're known for. They're known for their Catalina knit. I think that's what it's called. I have to, I have to double check. I always get the thing that they're known for and the thing that St. John is known for mixed up. But it's like they both have their own special kind of knit. Um, so this is obviously not that because this is more of like, you know, it's it's not that kind of jersey-ish material, like a thick jersey, almost scuba knit material. But this is Italian merino wool, and it's an open front cardigan. I almost, I don't know. I'm a bad reseller. There's a term called a circle cardigan, and part of me feels like that's what this is. Let me know if you agree. But um, it's got the sleeve. It's got kind of like a big, like, shawl, if you will, in the front. But yeah, we'll see how that does. I've not really tried to sell Jay McLaughlin if it's not that knit that they're famous for I also cannot find oh, okay yeah so it's a hundred percent super fine merino wool dry clean only so you know it's made out of great stuff we'll see how it does some people love their Jay McLaughlin let's see this is another life is good t-shirt this is also in a size small this one just says life is good with some leaves on the front Again, I paid very little for this. And these typically sell for me like between $18 and $20, I'd say. The, those being a size small, maybe they won't sell for as much, but we'll see. Okay, I don't pick up Express a lot, but I actually picked up an Express satin reversible jacket from this same store not too long ago. It was new with tags. It sold for my full asking price of $40 within like five days. Um, this is not the same thing. It's not like a jacket, but I thought it was really pretty. It's a size extra small. It is like this pale pink color with this 
floral print. There's like birds and stuff. It's got um, like that wrap detail. I love the draping like from the shoulder all the way down. And again, it's a bodysuit. Like you were not expecting that, were you? So, you know, it'll stay in place and it's new with tags. It retailed for $59.90. I will probably try to list it for like 30 and see what happens. But yeah, I usually don't have a lot of luck with Express, but that experience with that reversible jacket, it changed me. <laughs> this is another anthro piece. This is Moth. And it is this purple, again, sweater with like the sleeve. I'm this bat wing sleeve. I'm all about it. And like this neck, I feel like I've shown you like three or four pieces already that have kind of this mock neck detail or like it's just wider. I don't know. Um, also, I think this is made of some pretty good material. Let's see. So this is tunic length. Um, yeah, this also has some alpaca in it. So a lot of different reasons to pick it up. We'll see how that does. I just love a good long sweater with the bat wing. I'm all about that life. Okay, let's get into this really quickly because as you guys know, I have a friend who likes to thrift with me. Her name's Chi Wan. She was in, you know, a couple of my uh, thrift with me videos and she doesn't like any part of reselling except thrifting. I feel like most of us can relate to that, but she literally just like won't list stuff. So she basically just goes thrifting for me. So she went to, I think this is all stuff from a different consignment store. The one where I have shopped in bulk before and I get stuff for like under, you know, a dollar, two dollars or whatever, but they were having like a 90% off clearance sale or something. So she went and found a couple things for me. This first thing is a skirt set or a skirt suit from Cabbie in a size six. I, I just thought this was really pretty. This is a pretty bold color. I imagine like a bold person would wear this. Um, and it's got this like, you can see right there, like how that works. Um, and then a matching skirt. Again, it's career. I know it's kind of dated, but people are shopping for stuff to wear to work. So we'll see how this does. If the set can sell for like $50, that would be amazing. I think my average cost of goods on these three items, because she just got three things for me this day, I think it was like three, no, I think it was like two something per piece. So, and that's like two something for that whole suit set. So there you go. This is an Athleta piece. It's a size medium and it is a long sleeve dress again with like the mock neck. I think I've sold this same exact dress, but in a different color. I have to double, double check, but it's a pullover with like a quarter zip. Yeah. I don't think it's like super cute, but I feel like people really like their athleta dresses. So we'll see how that does. If I could get 35 for that, that would be awesome. And then this is a Talbot's dress. It's a size large, which I love. It's perfect for the office, which I love. And it's 50% wool, which I love. So it's got a really classic look to it. I love the stripes. I love the pockets. I love like kind of the color blocking with like the gray and the maroon. I love everything about it. Also the colors just give me like strong Harry Potter vibes, which you know I'm here for. So I really liked that. Um, hoping to get at least 25, if not more for that, but most likely around the $25 mark. All right. So next up is another athleta dress. It is so soft. It's just like this long sleeve dress with kind of this rounded hem. I believe it is pockets no I'm crazy it does not have pockets and it's a there's a little bit of pilling like you can see if you look really close up it's super soft it is in a size extra small which is my size I would keep it except I I don't feel comfortable or like I'm lounging when I'm wearing a dress no matter how comfortable and loungy the dress it just I don't feel very comfortable I don't know if anyone can re relate to that but yeah um okay this I was conflicted by. I did not 
buy it first though, right? Like I'm saving it. So it is 525 America, which is a Revolve brand. It's sold at Revolve and probably some other places too. And it's 525 Lux. It's a size small. It is made out of rabbit hair, like a hundred percent real natural rabbit fur, which is so sad. It is really soft. Like I, I do not support you know buying actual like real fur um just because oh my gosh like an animal had to die for that it is really soft but again like I am buying it second hand um it's in like perfect condition and I imagine it's worth a good amount you know one it's revolve two it's real rabbit fur I have no idea how to price this I will let you know here um, it's beautiful. It is just like really sad though. You know what I mean? So I wanted to make sure that this piece especially continues to live on. Um, this is another vest. This is not as problematic as the last one. The brand is Pilcrow and the letter press, which is anthropology. It is a size medium. Um, this one, they wanted $30 for it. It was like in their boutique section. I don't know how much I could get for it, but it's a cool vest. Um, so we'll see how it does. I'll look up some comps and let you know here. Oh, my piles are going to start falling over on me soon. This is the brand Brooks Brothers. Yep, size small. Brooks Brothers stuff sells pretty well for me usually. Sometimes I have to sit on it, but um, it's a great mall brand. It's definitely one of the best ones. This is 50% camel hair and 50% merino wool. I have to say, I don't love the feel of it. Like it just feels rough and it feels like it would be really itchy. That's just me personally. I have a hard time with uh, camel hair. I mean, camel hair. I've never seen anything made with camel hair, but with wool in general. And it's got a really nice cable knit detail. Yeah, I mean, it's just very classy and I could definitely see it being great in the fall and winter and even for the office and stuff like that. So there's that. Hope to get at least maybe 30, 35 out of that. This is a really interesting piece. So I got it because it's Ellie Tahari, which is a great brand. Um, I kind of have a hard time moving it, but it is, you know, considered pretty high end. It's a corduroy jumper, but with like the oddest choice for the straps. Like, look at this. It's like a glittery. I don't. Yeah, I just thought it was so odd. So the jumper itself gives me like very strong 90s vibes. It's like in this really rich navy color and it's got almost this like iridescence to it. If you can see that, like this sheen. It's so interesting. But yeah, it definitely gives me like real 90s vibes. I just don't get it. I don't get it with, with those straps. Yeah, I don't know. But let's see. This is, let's see what it's made out of. Okay, so it's like cotton and spandex. These straps are 100% leather. So interesting. I'm also trying to see the size and I don't see a size. That's frustrating. So I'll have to do some research and see what's going on there with the size. I can see where maybe it used to be and it was cut out. But um, yeah, I'll just have to, you know, do some measurements and we'll see. I just thought it was so interesting and it is a great brand. So we'll see how that does. I'll definitely try to sell this myself. Like I wouldn't send this in anywhere just because I feel like people wouldn't know what to do with it. And I feel like a lot of those like thread up and the real real like they just don't take good pictures i don't get it this is a brand that i typically do not pick up but i thought this was darling and it's a larger size so the brand is lc lauren conrad they sell this at you know like kohl's and stuff but i like the floral print and it's a size extra large it's a long sleeve dress I feel like this could be really perfect even for like Easter. I mean, it's a little dark for Easter, but it could also be really great for like bridal showers and um, yeah, just a lot of different things. And I feel like it works for a lot of different seasons too. Like I think you could wear this in the spring, but it's also super appropriate for the fall. I don't know. I just thought it was really darling. Even if I get like 25, 30 on that, I'd be really happy. We're almost done. We have two pieces left, guys. Okay, so I just hauled something not too long ago that's kind of in the same vein as this, but this is by the brand 
Innis Crafts. It's like one of those like, you know, Irish. Yeah, this is made in Ireland. It's a size medium. Um, they just make really great wool knitwear. So this is 100% merino wool. It's in this beautiful color, like this maroon, burgundy. I think it's more of a maroon. Um, it's got just some really interesting knit details as far as like the um, pattern and everything. Yeah, so this kind of stuff can do really well. Sometimes you have to sit and wait for the right buyer. Okay, I keep running out of either space on my phone or power on my ring light because of my laptop. So I was in the middle of showing you this. I'm done showing you it. It's awesome. I hope I get a good amount for it. And we have two more things left. This is BDG, which is Urban Outfitters. It's a size small, and it is just this denim. It's a tunic. This, or it's a really short dress. I don't know. To each their own. However, someone wants to wear this. I'm not expecting a lot from this. Urban usually doesn't move for that much for me, but even if I got 15 to 20 on that, I'd be happy. And then finally, a pair of page jeans. Okay, they they haven't puckered yet, but I have literally had page jeans where I have examined them thoroughly in the store and then I get them home and they're puckered. So let's see. Dun, da, da, da. The crotch looks great. <laughs> so I don't think that these have puckered. Um, they're in a bigger size, but oh my gosh, hold on. Okay. Whew. I kind of saw this weird shadow and I thought it was something nasty near the crotch. It's not, it was just the shadow. My dear God, that was so scary. Okay, so they're in a size 33, which is why I wanted them as well. The The style name is Normandy. I've never tried selling that, you know, style before, but I figured it's, you know, a great size. It's at least mid-rise, if not high-rise. It looks to be just kind of like more of a relaxed fit. So. We'll see how those do. I wonder even if these are men's. You guys, I think these are men's page jeans. So I'll, I'll have to do some research, but um, yeah, page can do really well, especially if there's no puckering at the crotch. So we'll see how those do, but um, really excited about everything that I got from this consignment store. They tend to have um, more high-end pieces than the consignment store where I have shopped by the bag. So that's always really nice. Like they have a lot more like Eileen Fisher, Vince. They have a lot of Tory Burch, although Tory Burch is, you know, priced really expensively there because they know what they have. And very rarely does it ever go on sale. So I'm really excited about this stuff and um, really excited to list it. It just isn't, in, it's not exciting enough to get me to actually sit down and list. So I need to like get over whatever weird funk I'm in and just get to listing. But that's everything I have. If you guys enjoyed yourselves, hopefully you got some photographing done or some listing yourself or just any other, you know, mundane reseller tasks. Hopefully you were able to do that while I kind of hung out with you. And if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, yet definitely take the time to subscribe now I'd really appreciate it that way we can hang out more in the future thank you guys so much for watching this video if you want more haul videos like I said I have a playlist down below and if you are interested in any other of my playlists to just kind of binge watch like I have a what sold playlist I have a playlist on just like how to Poshmark all that kind of stuff then definitely check out those other playlists as well but I'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much bye